Hi everyone. Today I'm making a macaroni salad. Um, this is one of my favorite salads. Of course it comes from my mother and uh, she used to make this for us all the time when we were kids. And of course I make it now for my kids. And what I have here is just some rings. I, wo I boiled them seven, eight minutes like the package says. And I rinsed them, which is the only time you should rinse your um, pasta is when you're making a macaroni salad. You never want to rinse your pasta when you're making a hot uh, pasta. Um, these are the rings. I just got these little pasta rings. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is put a teaspoon of salt. We'll probably need more, but I'm going to start with a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of pepper and uh, definitely some parsley. We need a tablespoon of parsley. Okay. And then I'm going to add um, green olives. And it's okay if some of the juice goes in there because that's good. That's a half a cup. They're just the sliced green olives. I might use more. And then I got an oversized cup of red onions, but I'll probably only use half of those. We'll see. Oh how that goes. And um, I got three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. You might need more of that as well. You kind of just go by feel what you think you like. You might like a little more, a little less, depends. And uh, let's see, we need some vinegar. I always put the vinegar in last. So get this all mixed. And I hope you can see that. I always use a sweet, sweet onion for cold salads. It changes the flavor. You don't want to use cooking onions because they're too strong. Okay, that looks like that was the perfect amount of mayonnaise. But i got to put the eggs in yet. But of course, I'm definitely going to put some more pepper. And I like to put some fresh cracked pepper in mine. Because I like to actually see the pepper specks on my food. And we'll put another teaspoon of salt. So that's two teaspoons of salt so far and two tablespoons of parsley. Give that another mix and you can see that looks really good and colorful. Let's try to get all those in there. It's looking good. And then what I have here is six diced up eggs. I just hard boiled them and I got six. Those little things like to stick to the sides. Looking yummy. And now I put the vinegar in. I usually like to give it a taste. See how it tastes. See if I need to adjust the seasoning. Mmm, no, it's good. And I've got about an eighth cup of vinegar here. Let's see if we need it all. Yeah, so an eighth cup of vinegar. I usually don't measure, I just pour it in and eyeball things, but I've been trying to do the measurements. And I think everyone will enjoy this. I've never found anyone yet who doesn't love my macaroni salads. So, this was one pound of pasta. You can see how good that looks. It's going to look a little wet right now. Well, after it sits in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight, it dries up a little bit. I'm going to put it in a nice serving bowl. Mmm, yum, yum. My kids love this stuff. I usually like to put a little bit of um, Miracle Whip in my salads along with the Hellman's real mayonnaise, but I didn't have any, but you could put a little in if you like. It actually helps change the flavor. And uh, where's my knife? Oh, it's over here. Then I actually made eight eggs, and I put six in the salad, 
and then I'm going to put a couple on top. So it always looks prettier with a couple of eggs on top. Mmm, that is looking so yummy. And then we want to sprinkle on a little bit of paprika. And that is done. Let me give you a close-up. I hope you like this recipe and I hope you give it a try. It looks delicious. It'll taste delicious. Put a little plastic wrap over the top. Put it right in your fridge. I'd give it at least an hour or two. But overnight's always better, and it'll last two, three days in the fridge, no problem. I hope you enjoy this one. Give it a try. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching.